Welcome to the Stealth Channel. In today's video we will examine the Tupolev Pak DA Poslanik, Russia's stealth bomber. Pak DA stands for Perspectivny Aviacini Complex Dalne Aviacii, or in English, Perspective Aviation Complex for Long Range Aviation, and is being developed by the Tupolev Design Bureau under the codename Poslanik, or in English, Envoy. The Pak DA is a next generation stealth strategic bomber being developed by Tupolev for the long range branch of the Russian Aerospace Forces. The Pak DA is intended to complement and then replace the older Tupolev Tu 95 Bear bombers currently in service. Russia plans for a new strategic bomber date back to 2007. The Pak DA was originally thought to be heavily based on the preceding Tupolev Tu 160 Blackjack swing wing bomber. However, later reports would indicate that it would be an entirely new design. On August 27, 2012, then Deputy Prime Minister Dmitry Rogozin had called for a bomber capable of hypersonic speed in order to better match the air defenses of the United States. This early design can be seen here in this artwork showing a swing wing, lifting body, hypersonic bomber design. However, it is unclear whether his comments refer to the bomber being hypersonic or to its ability to carry hypersonic air-launched missiles. Rogozin's statement came just days after the Americans tested the Boeing X-51 Waverider, a hypersonic demonstrator vehicle. However, in March 2013, it was reported that the selected Pak DA design would be a subsonic flying wing with emphasis on stealth technology rather than hypersonic speeds. The Tupolev Design Bureau finalized the design of the Pak DA in 2014, and the Kapo plant in Kazan was chosen for the construction of the aircraft in 2015. A full-scale model of the Pak DA was reported to have been completed in 2017. In July 2018, United Engine Corporation and Tupolev signed a contract for the creation of the Pak DA's power plant. According to early reports, it will be derived from the upgraded Kuznetsov NK32 Tier 2 engine, which are intended for the modernized Tu-160M2s. These new engines were undergoing bench tests in 2021. On November 25, 2021, a source in the Russian military industrial complex reported that the first Pak DA prototype was in the final stage of assembly and would start ground tests in 2022, with the first flight scheduled for late 2024 or early 2025. The Tupolev Pak DA is scheduled for introduction in 2027. It is speculated that the Tupolev Pak DA will be less stealthy than the American B 2 Spirit and B 21 Raider stealth bombers, or even the forthcoming Chinese H 20 stealth bomber. One of the primary reasons for this is the Russian aviation industry's inability to manufacture components to the tolerances that are necessary for modern stealth aircraft. The Russians are far behind their American and Chinese counterparts in this regard, as seen on the recently developed Sukhoi Su-57 Felon, Russia's stealthy fifth-generation air superiority fighter. In order to make up for their stealth deficiencies, Russia plans on arming their Pak DA stealth bombers with both conventional and nuclear cruise missiles, such as the KH-101 and KH-102. The KH-101 is an air-launched cruise missile which is armed with a conventional warhead, while the KH-102 variant is armed with a nuclear warhead. In addition, it is highly likely that the Pak DA will be armed with the KH-47M2 Kinsel air-launched hypersonic ballistic missile. This missile can be seen here being carried in the belly position of a MiG-31 Foxon interceptor. By arming their new bombers with these missiles, the Pak DA will not have to venture outside the range of Russian air defenses. We are eagerly looking forward to the public unveiling of Russia's Pak DA stealth bomber, hopefully sometime in 2022, and learning more about this exciting new stealth aircraft. I will endeavor to upload a new video each week so make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell to know when I have uploaded a new video. I hope you will enjoy this content and continue to come back for more.